Meow to y'all, welcome back to another video. We know that Concerned Ape has put a lot of love and care into each character, and there are some books that we just shouldn't judge by its cover. In today's video, I'd like to do another character analysis and unravel the intricacies of one of the most disliked romanceable characters in Stardew Valley, Haley. So buckle up. If you don't know me, I'm Sodder. I make Stardew Valley YouTube videos featuring game challenges, lore, theory crafting, and analyses. So if you've got any feedback or suggestions for the next video, feel free to leave a comment below and hit that subscribe button for more. Now, firstly, you might be wondering why I'm doing this video on Haley and not Shane, who might be even more disliked. But my first video on this channel was romancing Shane, so I want to choose someone else for this. Don't worry though, I've already started the script for my character analysis of Shane, as well as Caroline. That's right, I'm cooking up something special for y'all. But today, let's focus on Haley. By browsing internet discussions about Haley, we immediately see some not so nice terms associated with her. Vain, spoiled, superficial, lazy, and even mean girl. Are all of these true? And if they are true, does that make her so unlikable? Is there some depth to some of these flaws? Let's look at the facts. Haley lives with her sister, Emily, in their parents' house, who have been traveling the world for the past two years with an unknown date of return? Okay. She enjoys photography, shopping, fashion, and art. Concerned Apes Dev Update number 12 states, being wealthy and popular throughout high school has made Haley a little conceited and self-centered. She has a tendency to judge people for superficial reasons, but is it too late for her to discover a deeper meaning to life? Is there a fun, open-minded young woman hidden within that candy-coated shell? I think putting some of these facts into context would help flesh out Haley's character a little bit better, and maybe shed a positive light on her. I do want to preface that I am not trying to give Haley any excuses, especially with some of the rude comments she says towards the player, like, mm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Actually, never mind. Just trying to give her a little more context. Pelican Town is incredibly small, and as we discover, pretty much everyone is struggling financially. I theorize that because of Haley having a wealthy background, she was already isolated and outcast from the rest of her age group. I also theorize that because of this loneliness that youths can experience from being in a different economic class from everyone else, a certain attitude of, I'll hurt you before you get a chance to hurt me, kind of sets in. Combine this with the simple fact that, yes, we, the farmer, are going to look like a farmer. It's a striking difference to what Haley is used to seeing. She's used to being very put together and having nice clothes, and we have to remember that although we take over the farm next to Pelican Town, this isn't a farmer's town. We can maybe theorize that the Hat Mouse took over an abandoned farmhouse, but other than that, there's not a lot of opportunities to meet farmers that are covered in dirt and sweat. I think there's a very real possibility that she's just sheltered, really naive. I don't think she's going out of her way to purposefully be rude or hostile, just sort of bewildered by the presence of a farmer that's around her age that would choose to move to Pelican Town and be dirty all day. It just doesn't make any sense to her. That's another thing. Haley really doesn't like Pelican Town. Her and her sister have a huge hobby in common, fashion. Now, Emily does a lot of sewing and tailoring and expresses herself via what she makes, but Haley prefers to wear the fashion herself. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but she literally can't indulge herself in her hobby as much as she likes, as she states, this town is so small, it sucks. I have to drive like 20 miles to buy any decent clothes. I feel like this might contribute to this sense of feeling stuck, feeling bored that she has. I think with the way that she talks down about Pelican Town in an almost, mm, this is beneath me, attitude, it really makes her seem conceited. Now, allow me to raise a point. Small town, nothing to do, no new friends to make because it's just been the same people living here the whole time. A monotonous routine that sets in and lasts years. Nothing really changes or mixes things up. I can absolutely understand a growing disdain for this quaint, cozy living that others enjoy. Concerned Apes Dev Update asks us, is it too late for her to discover a deeper meaning to life? I see Haley as someone that is actually trying her hardest to find more meaning in life, new things to try, new things to do. In the fall, there is a chance that she will ask you, it's too cold to go to the beach anymore. <sighs> what do you think I should do? You can respond with watercolor painting or read a magazine. Both will be well received by her. She is interested in trying new things. She's just stuck, bored, 
And I think when you talk to someone that's bored of the everyday routine, the conversations are short and superficial. As you pursue a friendship with her, there is a ton of character development to be seen. I also want to point out something that I see a lot in internet discussions about Haley and other characters. I see the statement, Haley only begins growing because you start giving her presents and then she likes you. I roll. I don't think it's fair to pin that on the characters of Stardew Valley because that's a pure and simple game mechanic. In fact, if you want to raise friendships with characters, you don't actually need to give gifts to the townspeople. This can be done via talking, completing a delivery quest, inviting them to the movie theater, making certain choices in heart events, reading the Friendship 101 book that was added in 1.6's update, and finishing the bulletin board in the community center. It is entirely possible to befriend and even romance a character without giving them a single gift. Of course, it'll take longer, but hey, it's a valid strap. I just think trying to paint Haley as an overly materialistic person because she accepts gifts from the player and that increases her friendship points with you doesn't make a lot of sense. All characters like gifts. As long as you give them something they like, of course, and not something that they absolutely hate. But they all like that. So pinning her with the label of materialistic doesn't make too much sense to me. If we're gonna call her materialistic, then maybe let's look at some of her other actions. To continue on, Haley develops a lot as you get to know her better. For example, one of her regular dialogues when you barely know her is, I've decided I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to throw out all of last year's styles to make room for the new ones. After reaching six hearts with her though, she states, Maybe I'll donate some of my skirts to a charity this spring. I mean, I do have over a thousand skirts. What? Did you notice that difference? Throw out versus donate. It seems as though getting to know us a little better caused Haley to explore her more charitable and kind side. Her kindness through her development is quite astonishing, actually. After reaching eight hearts with her, she'll tell you, Yesterday I found a seagull with her wing caught in a net. I set her free, of course. She looked so helpless, the poor thing. In her 14 heart event after marrying her, Haley learns that the books that Penny uses to teach Jazz and Vincent are falling apart. This prompts her to organize a charity cakewalk in town to raise funds for new books. What a kind thing she decided to do. By getting to know us and seeing us take care of the farm all by ourselves, a spark of inspiration seems to ignite in Haley. She can randomly state after reaching six hearts, I need a new hobby other than shopping. I've decided to expand my horizons. Maybe I should learn to play the mini harp. I should start reading some books instead of magazines. It's good to learn things, isn't it? I only ever look at pictures. I've never been to the forest, you know. It might be interesting to explore it someday. I think I'm starting to realize that clothes aren't the most important thing, right? I still like clothes though. I mean, what's wrong with expressing yourself a little? We can see that she is interested in changing, in learning and growing. Her overall attitude towards other people changes slowly by slowly. We continue seeing this more and more after marriage where the once lazy and sloppy Haley who got into arguments with Emily about chores, like in her two heart event, she now states things like, I'm glad I've learned to enjoy cleaning. The house gets dirty very easily. It's satisfying to get everything squeaky clean. Winter's just around the corner. We need to double check the heating system, turn off the valves and check all the insulation in the house. Don't worry, I'll take care of it all. It really feels as though she's more responsible and mindful of her home and the person that she lives with. Her relationship with Emily improves too. As she states after six hearts, I talked to my sister for a while last night. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. You know, Emily's not actually that weird. I guess we have more in common than I used to think. Don't tell her I said so. And after marriage, uh, I hope Emily isn't too lonely all by herself. I should visit her again soon. She puts in effort to maintain a relationship with Emily, which is really great to see. Overall, I do think Haley can be rougher on the edges at first, but honestly, I think the same can be said about most characters in Stardew Valley. There's more than meets the eye when you first get to know the characters. Maybe on y'all's next playthrough, you'll give Haley a chance and see for yourself. With that said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I stream pixel art and Stardew Valley on Twitch, so if you'd like to check that out, link in the description. And if you've got a suggestion for the next character now, Policies or some head cannons that y'all have, be sure to leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to catch my next video. I'll be making more Stardew Valley videos, so keep an eye out. See y'all next time. Bye!